Hey, so did you follow my step one on six easy steps to read tarot where you put one word per card and do you have 78 words? Good. Now we're ready for the next few steps. And remember, my six step process is really about getting you to read as intuitively and comfortably as possible without engaging your anxiety because your anxiety will kill that intuitive reading process. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your full deck now with one word memorized to each of them, and you are going to put them in three piles. The first pile is all of the minor arcanas, ace through 10. The second pile is the major arcana, full through the world, zero to 22. And finally, all the court cards of the minor arcana, they're going to be in a third pile. So you should have 16 in that pile. 22 in the middle pile and 54, I believe, in the minor arcana pile. And what you're going to do is you're going to start reading just with the minor arcana. Um, and the reason why this is the minor arcana really has to do with uh, just common things that are happening in the world. They're the easiest to learn quickly. So we're going to start there. And if you're worried about, oh my God, if I break my deck, is the tarot not going to work? No, that's the crazy part. Tarot always finds a way, like life. So that's step two. You want to break your deck into piles and you're just going to read with a minor arcana at first. Now here is step three. And this is the step everyone fights me on. Nobody listens to me. Everyone doesn't want to do it. Trust me, I know. But it is this. Read for everybody and everything except yourself. Absolutely do not read for yourself. And here's when you read for yourself, you're subjective, you're biased. It's about you and your stuff. And that is the hardest way to actually read tarot. So I don't want you to start on the hardest thing. I want you to start on the thing where there's a natural easiness, which is reading for everything and everyone else. Because when you do that, you are really leaning into the objectivity that you already have. So you'll know that what's coming through is really coming from the cards and not just your opinion or your bias. So what you want to do, read for anything going on in the news, read about the weather, read about the new ordinances, read, read about what's going to happen with your HOA situation, read about anything and anyone. Uh, sometimes I like to go to the subreddit relationships. If people have posted to me, that is about really making, uh, giving us permission to maybe take a look and, and do a reading on the situation. Remember everybody, but you, and also don't go spying on your ex. Okay.